Hey everyone, it's Pearls and Heels here. I hope everyone's being safe out there in this time of uncertainty in our country and also in the world. Uh, there's riots all over the U.S. and protesting uh, to combat police brutality and racial inequality. Um, I don't know what the solution is to the problem, honestly, but I think that the only solution that's going to work is going to involve love. Uh, I think without love, it's it's never going to, it's always going to, uh, go back to where it was or it just it just won't change. I think that uh, I really honestly think that love is the only like Solution to any problem. It's the only answer to any question um, We just have to find a way um, To involve love and I think that that will I think that will really uh, Fix the problem that we're having uh, in the country um the events that are going on right now inspired this look. Um, it's probably the saddest look I've ever done. Um, it's definitely the saddest look I've ever done. Like, I honestly started kind of, like, getting my feelings about it as I was doing it. And, uh, yeah. I uh, also wrote a poem that was inspired by the look and also what's going on. So, uh Tell me what you think. I hope you enjoy. And I will go ahead and read it now. The name of the poem is called Skins. Is this all you see when you look at me? Racial slur, unkind word, a drop of water in the sea? Is this what you see when you look my way? Not a person, but a filthy, sinful gay? Is this what, how you see me when you spy my face? Just a dirty lower class, stagnant race? Is this who you see when you look at me? A criminal or animal trying to get free? Is that what you see when I'm fighting with all my might? Someone to walk on an empty void or starless night? Is that where you see me in years to come? In prison or on welfare, brandishing a gun? Do you even see me as a person that deserves to live? Or do you see me as a nigger that deserves a shiv? Could you see me as a man that's not unlike you? Someone that has a specific point of view? Someone, no matter what he does, always feels the weight of the world because we think dark is lesser and think white is right. We lighten our skins to fight the plight of something we were born into and not a choice, something for which we had no voice, something so trivial, trite, and minute, yet something so huge it starts drive-by shoots. The color of my skin is of much debate. For some reason, this thing will choose my fate? To this I say no, that's not my end. I determine my future. Do you hear me, my friend? I am proud of who and what I am, a child of the universe like any other man. My skin is dark, beautiful, and has great impact. You may think that's my opinion, but to me, that's a fact. You won't bring me down with your projections of hate, your narrow-minded beliefs of color and race. I'm a child of this world, and nothing will ever change that. So get used to me being here. That ain't gonna change, Jack. And that's the end of the poem. Um, I don't know, man. I I had a rough time with that one. Uh, I had a tough time looking at my face, honestly, and all this stuff. But, um, I mean, these are all words that people use. And I think that, like the old saying, uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's that's not true. Uh, words can definitely hurt you, but I think it's um, it's how you allow yourself to react to when someone calls you a word or a name or whatever it is. Um, you can't give power to these words. These words are just words. Um, and the more power you give to them is the more power they'll have over you. Um, if, if you feel uh, triggered or... Uh, like you want to go off because someone calls you a word or a name, um, ask yourself why. Why Why does it matter? Obviously, this person doesn't respect you. Uh, you probably don't respect them if they're calling you out of your name. 
Um, and it's taken me a while to kind of get to that point to where words don't bother me as much, um, especially derogatory words. Um, this is my word right here that used to get me a lot, uh, the word boy. Since I was a kid, I don't know why. Like, it's just always been in me where uh, if someone called me boy, even just joking or just in passing, it would just, it would really set me off. Uh, it's taken me a long time to get to a point where the word doesn't bother me anymore at all. Um, the N-word has never bothered me. I just, I just don't give power to these words um, to let people get under my skin. Um, it's unnecessary. It doesn't. It doesn't make, it doesn't do, uh, it doesn't serve me if I give them my reaction whenever um, someone says something to me that I don't like, right? Uh, it's not to say that you can't get angry. You can absolutely get angry. It's, it's a pretty normal thing to do. Um, and I think it's, and I think it's healthy to let your anger out, but I think it's also important to be mindful of what you put your energy into whether it's uh, something that you do like or it's something like putting your energy into hating someone because they called you a word or whatever. Um, I'm going to try to work on me and uh, try to take the power out of words and, and the way that people use them towards me um, because how I react matters, right? Um, it affects my state of being, uh, my mindset, and... At the end of the day, they're just words, right? Um, and that's 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 pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the poem. Uh, sorry, it was a little rocky. I literally just wrote it, um, and I've this is probably like my twelfth or thirteenth take trying to get this video because it was a really rough start. But um, I think that these words would only bother me if. I thought they were true about myself in any way, right? So I don't think any of these words describe me. So um, I'm not gonna get upset when people call them, uh, call them out to me. Uh, I can't speak for everybody else and I can't tell people how to feel. Um, that's completely up to you. But at the end of the day, um, I think that it makes you a better person, um, a bigger person, if you can get past when people try to bring you down with um, with name calling or whatever words they choose to use against you. Um, because I think at the end of the day also, uh, what they say to you or about you, whether it's to your face or behind your back, it says more about them than it does about you, right? Um, a lot of times it's just them projecting their bullshit on you and it's something they think about themselves, but they can't accept it, so they try to put it on you. So don't accept it, right? Don't, don't accept... Um, the anger and the being pissed off um, whenever people uh, call you names, right? Um, yeah, it's, it, it can still hurt, right? I mean, we're, we're human. Um, words hurt. But just I think that if we try to just be a little more conscious about it and not let it get to us, that uh, it won't bother us as much. And I don't know. I think that's a healthy way to go. Um, I think I'm just rambling now at this point. So I'm going to go. You guys be safe. Uh, take care of yourself and be well.